Hi, I'm Justin Garcia, one of the creators of Gizmo Go, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to draw gears. So let's go. Ready, set, go! All right, so the first thing I like to do when I'm drawing gears is start off with what's called an action line. And that's kind of just a really light line uh, to show kind of the curve of how he's gonna be posed, because gears is very curvy with all of his uh, noodly arms and neck and whatnot. And then of course, I, I like to start with the head and Gears has, um, it's kind of triangular. It's, it's actually a cylinder, but it kind of comes in here at the bottom and, it's, and gets bigger at the top. So, um, and we do, cause it's a cylinder, we do a curved line at the top and we do a curved line at the bottom. And that's going to be the basis for his head. And again, we're drawing really light because we got a lot of detail to add here. And I'm just trying to make sure that uh, we've got proper shape and proportion as best we can. And so we're going to kind of do a similar shape and kind of even a similar size for his body, um, which is also kind of a triangular cylinder. So, but that one's going to start small at the top and get bigger at the bottom. So it's kind of like the opposite of his head. We'll curve it there at the bottom. And we'll just leave the top open for now. And you can see how many lines I'm doing here because I'm trying to find the right angle. That's why it's really important to draw the light so you can kind of figure out what the best shapes are. Um, there's lots of places we could go next. Um, let's go ahead and start just adding the body details. So the first thing we'll do is add Gears' little collar here at the top of his torso. And that's just gonna kind of be this little um, kind of turtleneck thing that extends from the top of his body here. And we've got kind of these curved lines at the top and bottom to show. That's kind of open at the top. And we're gonna darken these a little bit. And then at the bottom, he's got um, kind of this big joint um, that is where his wheel is mounted to. So we're just gonna kind of draw a light circle there and then we'll go ahead and darken the bottom of it because the top half is inside of his torso. And then there's another cylinder that extends from that. It's kind of like the wheels support. And see, this one's actually gonna start curving away from this big uh, line that we did curving this way. We're actually gonna start curving it this way to make the pose a little bit more dynamic. So we've got this guy coming out here. And then from there extends his little kind of stem here to go to the wheel. And then I'm gonna draw the housing for the wheel. There's gonna be kind of this weird shape with it. It's kind of curved on top. And then uh, this guy comes in front of the wheel. And then we're just gonna draw a little curve line here. And then we're gonna do this guy coming down here. We're not gonna fill it in like this side because the wheel's gonna go inside. So again, we're gonna draw kind of an oval because we're looking at it from an angle and we'll only darken this part because this other part is inside of this little housing. So, and then we'll go ahead and put in that line there, kind of show it coming behind there. And then we're gonna put in just a little oval here to kind of show the side of the wheel. So that's kind of the, the basics of his uh, central body. And we're gonna go ahead and, and add in the neck, which is connected from this collar into this little tube here. And that goes right into the bottom of his head. And so we can darken that line. And before we get into the rest of the head, I'm gonna go ahead and do the arms. And so for that, uh, he's got these big stringy arms. So we can just kind of start playing with different shapes. I'm gonna kind of do a line that kind of curves up here and then kind of comes back down around the same way. So there's a little bit of a corner there. And I'll do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna put his hands on his hips. And again, it's super light, super rough. Um, and then just to kind of rough in the hands, I'm just gonna draw kind of a couple of lines coming out from the hips there. 
before we draw in those hands, we're gonna draw in his cuffs. So he has this huge kind of cuffs that are also, again, we got lots of cylinders that are angled in on one side. So we're just gonna go ahead and draw those, kind of meeting him right at the torso. There. And his hands are kind of behind his torso, so we don't have to draw the exact spot that they meet. So for the fingers, I kind of had roughed these in. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and actually change them a little bit. And just kind of draw, they're basically like big french fry shapes that kind of connect at a central point. And uh, they get longer in the middle. And they're kind of flat on the edges, as you, or on the ends there. So they're not like Gizmo's hands that are rounded fingers. Do the same thing on the other side. So there's his hands. And then for the arms, we'll just kind of start to darken in this line. Uh, oh, but I forgot he has sleeves at his shoulders. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in. So it's kind of like a short sleeve shirt. Again, another curved line kind of coming into a triangle here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and, on these lines that we made for the arms, just kind of draw in a line right next to it that makes it look like we've actually got a tube in there. Just like we did for the neck. All right, and then we're gonna actually go ahead and draw in these little lines on the tube, just all the way through. Kind of show a little bit more detail on the hose. And we'll do that on the neck as well. And I'm still gonna save the face for last. We're gonna go ahead and do the gears, which are on his torso. So we're gonna start by drawing a big circle, well, it's an oval, but uh, it should be a circle because it's kind of facing in this direction, so we see it as an oval. We're gonna draw another oval here, and then another one here, They're kind of all next to each other. And that's gonna be where the gears go. The next step on the gears is to kind of draw the center circle inside of each of these, or oval in this case. And what we're gonna do, I've never been really great at drawing gears, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So we're just gonna draw the little uh, teeth of the gears. We're gonna start by drawing one, and then we're gonna go to the opposite side to try to keep them as even as possible. And kind of try to do it mathematically here. Because when you try to do one after the other, it can get a little funky looking. Might still get funky looking, but at least we're giving it a fair try. Yeah, that looks all right. So we'll just keep doing that on all of these. And they're gonna get smaller and smaller, so it's gonna get harder and harder and funkier and funkier, but. By the time you get to this little one, it doesn't matter as much. It's hard to see. All right, so now we can finally get to the fun part, the face. So the first thing we're gonna do is kind of split the face in half a little bit. We're gonna do another uh, line. We're gonna make it curved, right? Just kind of halfway, maybe a little higher than halfway. And that's gonna kind of be where his eyes are gonna go. And his eyes are huge. So we're gonna draw big ovals. And this one's gonna kind of extend past the edge of his head here. And then we'll do another one that's sized similarly, right next to it. And gears, unlike the other bots, 
his eyes are not on a screen. They are separate pieces because they're goggles. So we're gonna just draw little lines again, kind of doing that implied cylinder triangle thing that we did for the head and the torso and the cuffs coming off of this circle to kind of imply goggles. And we'll do the same thing on this one, only on this one, because we can actually see the whole thing, we're gonna go ahead and round the end there. Like it's on the side of his head. And then we can go ahead and start darkening this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of a strap back here for his goggles. Just kind of make it seem like it's wrapping around his head there. We can start darkening that. And Gears, because he's so triangular, does not have an oval nose like the others. He has a triangle. It's kind of this tall triangle. And then we're gonna do also kind of the sideways crooked mouth on Gears as well. We're just gonna draw this curved line here, and we'll make that also kind of open really wide and tall, because everybody at Quantum Labs is happy. And then we'll go ahead and put the pupils in, which again, we're gonna try to make as perfect a circle as we can. Right inside. And because Gears is a little bit arrogant, Go ahead and drop his lids down a little bit. He's a little bit full of himself. And uh, we'll also go ahead and give him some eyebrows. And we'll get we'll put this one curved up, but then this one we're gonna do kind of a straight line that comes up a little bit. Give him a little bit more of that confident expression there. And then the final detail, of course, is Gears' light bulb. So we're gonna kind of look at that curve, that first curved line that we did and kind of extend that just a little bit out of his head. It's not coming out of the exact center of his head, but just a little bit to the right here. And just give it a little bit of a line. And then we're gonna draw the light bulb, which is kind of like two uh, triangles opposite each other. So we're gonna do a tiny triangle down here again with a curved side on one end. And then we're gonna do a bigger triangle on top. And we'll draw that really light because that's supposed to be more rounded. So it kind of comes up from the little triangle. And it is round, but it's kind of got that triangular shape inside. And then we'll draw a couple of lines in here for the bottom of the light bulb. And then we'll draw the little filament inside, which is gonna be a line that comes up, curves this way and loops that way, and loops again and then comes back down. That's gonna make the filament. And we can put a couple of little lines in there to show that. It's shining bright. Oh, I forgot, there's one last stripe right here. Gears has a decorative stripe at the end of its torso. And there's Gears, so well. Sign it, finish it off. Gears. <laughs>